Hey guys, this just arrived in my mail today. Is this gonna be the best washed box of all times? I don't know. Let's open this box and check it out. Today, we are doing a little unboxing and review of the new Wave Yugo Pochard box. But before starting, I'd like to point out that this is not a sponsored video. I purchased myself to be able to use it for gouache and acrylics and plein air, but I'm also curious to see how it performs while sketching in watercolor. Maybe oils at some point? I purchased the medium size, which measures 8.4 by 11.25 inches and weighs approximately one kilo. I thought this is the best size for portability. Not too big, so it can easily fit into a shoulder bag and not too small that the palette or the size of panels you can paint on is too limiting. I'm planning on using with it 8 by 10 or 9 by 12 inches size panels. Look at this little thing, how cute it is. This box basically consists of two pieces. According to their website and info provider, they are made of Baltic birch wood with a finish that is resistant to water and solvent. Everything works together with the use of strong magnets. They are used for keeping the box closed as well for keeping the panel holders in place and also for the side trays. One consideration, I noticed there is a little bubble on the bottom of my box. I don't know if I can create any problem in the future, but just for you to know. By using strong friction hinges, the box open and stay open with a good amount of resistance. It looks pretty sturdy to me. The included palette is a high density plastic. They say oil paints can easily be removed with solvents and acrylics, you should just be able to peel them off. But for the acrylic painters out there, I will give a try and let you know. The palette slides easily out of the box for easy cleaning. However, I have to say I'm a tiny bit annoyed by the tolerance in the palette. I don't believe it's going to represent a problem while painting, but I'd like to check if it's the same with the glass palette that I currently don't have and they sell separately. If you guys purchase the same product and have the same issue, please drop a comment below and let me know. I'm really curious about this. Also, don't forget to drop a like. Apparently, it's really helpful with the algorithm. Thank you. About the side tray, I noticed a problem with the stainless steel support, as the hook to attach it to the tray is slightly too tall, creating a little gap and not aligning perfectly with the base. This is especially evident on the side that can be removed, as the cavity for the magnet is slightly more pronounced. However, when we slide the tray in, the little weight of it seems to be enough to make it stable enough. I will have to try it and let you know. The panel holders are made of stainless steel and painted in a nice non-reflective matte finish. The maximum recommended vertical surface for this size of the box is 10 inches vertical, but I believe it's usable up to 12 inches where no strong wind is present. I've read there are some issues reported with using a sketchbook with these panel holders because of the tiny teeth. Let's see how it behaves with my sketchbooks. It's not really optimal with a sketchbook. However, there are a few things you can do to make it work. But if you want the ultimate sketchbook experience, you can buy separately the set of panel holders specifically for deeper canvases and sketchbooks. The only caveat is that those are to be removed when closing the pochette box. It will be fine though if you usually sketch in watercolors on blocks rather than sketchbooks. One thing you can do, however, is if you use spiral pads, you can easily use bigger size ones just by flipping the top holder on the other side and just use it as a support. When I paint plain air, I usually bring with me a water container like this one and I drilled two holes in this one so I could attach a metallic thread. I would probably let this hang on the side of the box by using these carabiners and tinge I purchased as well. Unfortunately, this has to be purchased separately 
but any will do. One thing worth noticing is that this pochette box doesn't come with a wet panel carrier or a storage compartment for storing your paint and accessories, but I believe this is a fair price to pay for extreme portability. I think this thing is so small and lightweight and still with a nice pallet size and with a panel holder that I believe is capable of holding up to 12 inches panel. Also, however, since my intention is to use it with gouache or acrylics, I don't really need a wet panel carrier, but even then, there are on the market wet panel carrier able to carry up to two panels and they seem pretty portable too. So I don't understand one particular detail, whereas the bottom plate holder seems to have less space for holding panels than the top plate. Again, it might just be my product, I would prefer same distance or even slightly more on the bottom one. All in all, it looks like a fantastic robust product, not too heavy, you wouldn't want to carry around with you all the time, and also packed with a good set of features. I'm very much looking forward to test it on plein air for gouache and acrylics, but also curious to see if uh, it will work for me with watercolors. That's all for today, don't forget to check out this next video for your next steps on your art journey.